The depths of our oceans are among the most enigmatic places on Earth. Sometimes, the secrets are shared with the people on shore. Today, we present you with 11 of the most mysterious creatures found on beaches. Number 11. Tasmanian Globster the term globster was coined by Ivan T. Sanderson in 1962 and has been used to describe an unidentified organic mass that washes ashore a body of water. There's been several notable globsters discovered throughout the years, including the one that washed up in western Tasmania in August of 1960. Measuring 20 by 18 feet and weighing between 5 and 10 tons, the mass lacked eyes and had tusk-like protuberances. Instead of a mouth, stiff white bristles covered its body which presented a spine and six soft and fleshy arms. More than 20 years later, through electron microscopy analysis of collagen fibers, the carcass was confirmed as belonging to a whale. Number 10. Stronsay Beast after a storm that took place on September the 25th, 1808, a large globster washed ashore the island of Stronsay in Scotland's Orkney Islands. Even with a fragment of the animal's tail missing, it still reportedly measured a staggering 55 feet in length. Some anatomists claimed it was a new species of sea serpent, while others upheld the theory that the carcass was actually that of an unusually large basking shark. Three witnesses measured the Stronsay beast. It was four foot wide with a circumference of 10 feet. It had smooth skin from head to tail and three pairs of wings or paws. Bristles were present on the edge of the creature's fins and it had what was described as a mane of bristles all down its back, which glowed in the dark when wet, a possible indication that the creature might have lived at great depths. The contents of its stomach were red and its skeletal structure was made out of cartilage, not bone. Full transcripts of witness testimonies are available in the National Museum of Scotland. Sketches of the decaying carcass have been compared to the image of the Loch Ness Monster. However, they were criticized by eyewitnesses who claimed that it didn't resemble their description at all, thus returning the true identity of the Stronsay beast to the realm of mystery. Number 9. Trunco Trunco was the name given to an unidentified organic mass discovered in Margate, South Africa on October the 25th, 1924. First mentioned in a 1924 edition of London's Daily Mail in an article entitled Fish Like a Polar Bear. The creature was spotted off the coast for more than three hours as it battled two killer whales. Witnesses claimed the creature used its tail to attack the whales and lifted itself around 20 feet above the surface, described by farmer Hugh Ballon as having the appearance of a giant polar bear due to what was considered to be thick, white fur. Tronco was said to have washed up on Margate Beach where it remained for 10 days. However, during this time, no scientists studied the carcass and only four photographs exist. Reports claimed it had a lobster-like tail, an elephantine trunk, dense snow-white fur, and a carcass devoid of blood. But paleontologist Darren Nash argues that it's not a white-furred sea monster, but rather the decaying carcass of a large vertebrae, possibly a whale. Number 8 Folly Beach Monster in 2012, a bizarre, scaly corpse washed up on Folly Beach, South Carolina. Pictures surfaced on the internet and many believed it was evidence of a new sea serpent-like animal. The creature was nicknamed the Folly Beach Monster and later identified as an Atlantic sturgeon. This endangered fish is covered in bony plates instead of scales and can grow up to 15 feet in length with a potential weight of over 800 pounds. It can also live up to 60 years. Number 7. Lake Macquarie Creature while walking on the shore of Lake Macquarie in South Wales, Australia, tourist Ethan Tipper was shocked to find the carcass of an animal that looked like a cross between a dolphin and a crocodile. He took pictures of this mysterious creature and posted them online, shocked by its scary appearance. Some claimed the picture was edited or that it had been taken somewhere else. Others tried to identify it with little success. Mark McGruther, an Australian fish expert, said it probably belonged to a pike eel. McGruther told Daily Mail Australia, 
This is the first time I've ever seen one of them in the flesh. I suspect it was caught and discarded by a fisherman who got more than they bargained for when they tried to reel it in. Pike eels live at great depths with elongated bodies, elongated jaws with sharp teeth and can dive over 330 feet to feed. Number 6. Giant Sea Creature Found in Indonesia 37-year-old fisherman Asru Twanakota discovered the body of a 50-foot sea monster that washed ashore on the island of Serum, the largest in the Malaku Island group. This happened in May of 2017, and many believed the massive floating carcass belonged to a giant octopus as the remains resembled tentacles. The water on the coastline had turned a bright red because of the blood seeping from the rotting corpse. Aside from the identity of the giant beast, many other questions were sparked by the find including one posed by the people of Serum, who wondered how to get rid of it. From parts of the protruding skeleton, marine wildlife experts determined that the creature was a baleen whale that probably died in warm waters and the accumulation of bacteria and gases expanded its body. Number 5. Unknown Whale Species in June 2014, a young biology teacher found what could very well be a new species of whale washed ashore in St. George, Alaska. Initially, the man thought the 24-foot-long corpse was that of a bird's beaked whale. Upon closer inspection, he observed certain elements that set the body apart from the known description of a bird's beaked whale. The flesh was too dark, the dorsal fin was too large and floppy, and its teeth showed signs of old age, despite the fact that it was too short to be a typical adult of the species. Tests performed established it belonged to an entirely new species, one not yet seen alive. This amazing find has sparked interest in the possible sighting of a live specimen. Number 4. Mysterious Creature Found on a Texas Beach In the wake of Hurricane Harvey, a woman stumbled upon a faceless and fanged creature washed up on a Texas beach. The mysterious and frightening-looking creature was discovered by social media manager Pretty Desai on September the 6th, 2017, on a beach not far from Galveston. She tweeted the picture she'd taken and received massive internet attention. Many of the terrified reactions compared the creature to something out of a horror movie, an alien from deep space or a prehistoric sea creature. The story drew the attention of ichthyologist Ben Frable, who identified it as a fang-tooth snake eel that typically lives at depths of 300 feet. Snake eels have a stout body, growing up to 3 feet with elongated jaws and very large fangs that extend outside when the creature's mouth is open. However, its identity is still not confirmed and debates continue among marine wildlife experts. Number 3. Russian Sea Monster Found on the shoreline of a remote Russian island, this creature was approximately twice the size of the average adult human. Pictures of its bloodied carcass with its skeleton exposed caused a frenzy on Russian social media sites as many struggled to identify it. One commenter described it as a mutant sea monster with a beak. Marine biologists would have identified it as a dolphin if not for the long, thick hair on its tail. Some hesitant claims have compared it to a Ganges River dolphin brought to the area by a warm current. However, this interpretation was hindered by the fact that Ganges River dolphins are much smaller and, of course, have no fur on their bodies. Number 2. Montauk Monster the Montauk Monster was the name given to a creature that washed ashore in July 2008 on a beach near Montauk, New York. Discovered by 26-year-old Jenna Hewitt and three of her friends, Hewitt took a picture of it. The photo ran in a light-hearted article by a local paper that speculated the creature could have been a turtle or type of mutant experiment from the Plum Island Animal Disease Center nearby. Hewitt and her friends were interviewed by a local public access television show. The story of the Montauk Monster quickly became viral and also drew national media attention. The fact that it mysteriously disappeared from the site, never to be found again, adds to the fascination. More and more people speculated what it was. Dog, sheep, sea turtle without its shell, and experiment from the animal testing facility were among the most popular guesses. Based on the skull shape, visible dentition, and front paws of the body, it was determined that the remains probably belonged to a raccoon. Number 1. Zoyumaru Carcass 
when the Zoyamaru carcass was discovered by a Japanese fishing boat off the coast of New Zealand in 1977. It sparked a craze in Japan, as many people thought it represented the remains of a prehistoric plesiosaurus. The unidentified creature was nicknamed Nessie by the crew, who described it as having four large reddish fins, a four-foot-long neck, and a tail measuring approximately six feet. It reportedly weighed around 4,000 pounds and measured around 33 feet. The flesh and fat of the foul-smelling carcass was relatively intact. Despite the biological potential of the mysterious find, Captain Akira Tanaka decided to dump it back into the water for fear that it would taint the rest of the fish. But measurements, photos, and sketches were taken. Bone, skin, and fin samples were also collected to be sent to Japan for further analysis. In the wake of the Plesiosaurus craze, many ships were sent to the location in an attempt to recover the carcass. The photos led numerous experts to the conclusion that it truly represented the remains of the Plesiosaurus. Although the identity of the creature was never truly established, later analysis indicated that it most likely belonged to a basking shark, as its decomposition pattern would create a shape similar to that of a Plesiosaurus. Hey guys, it's Angelo Cruz of this channel. I wanted to let you all know I've set up a Patreon account where I'll be offering very exciting and very exclusive bonus footage available only to people on Patreon. There, your voice will be heard regarding things you want to see and which direction I take my channel. Click on the end screen here to find out more or on the link in the description below. Thanks guys and I hope to see you on Patreon soon.